in all of what we explored today, you know, that quality of being center to center, moving as one, or that quality of feeling that pearl inside, and moving from that pearl, which impacted our relationship, or the the nature of that recognition of that contact point, and that contact point being a, a doorway that fundamentally facilitated a connection. There, there were shifts that we all introduced that suddenly gave people a new perspective. It wasn't about adding a slow adding on of information which increased you know, a, a slow development. It was like a window into a new way of looking at Aikido that could give a, a person a leap into a different way of relating that, that allowed for a person to suddenly get a taste that suddenly that 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 supported uh, um, shifts of development, shifts of shifts of, of new capacity. So there's something in that way. There's a little, kind of a magical quality about the exploration. It's not just okay, you know, you know, elbows elbows here and and shoulders down and and heart out. You know, there's no there's no you know that kind of slow developmental practice that takes that takes time to 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 get in, and which is part of that that repetition of form. But this kind of like suddenly recognizing, well, I'm not I'm not out here. I'm I'm here. And that flip of attention can change so much. Or I'm not I'm not I'm not here. I'm here with my partner. Or I'm I'm not. Back here, I'm suddenly here, and we're all fundamentally uh, introducing ways for for the students to suddenly kind of get a a, a a new window onto the art, which then can suddenly um, drop the person into a, a, a completely different perspective. Which those what what we say in English, the aha moments, right? Little satori that allows for a shift in in experience, a shift and also expression of, of Aikido. And that's what I think is very um, inspiring, is to be able to facilitate that, because you can't do it for a student, but you can facilitate that. You go out there and you do it with them, and you do it, you, you give them metaphors, you, you, know, you, you give them places to drop their attention, you show them the golf ball, you show them tango, you show them you show them wakame. You show them, you show them yeah. something, right? Yeah. That suddenly they go, aha, and it's relevant. If it's you know, if it's not relevant, it's a, it's some type of conceptual aha, yeah, yeah, yeah. and a conceptual aha is, is nice. You know, aikido is you know making making the world into one family. Okay, that's an that's a conceptual aha. Generally, it's a conceptual aha, but when you see that, or when you see something that drops into your body and your being and you go, aha, I, I feel what you're saying. I see what you're saying. I understand it, but I also feel it. Not only can I feel it, I can actually access so, it. When I listen to you, I think about what uh, connects to what I'm, I'm very inspired by this idea of simplifying. Yeah, right. It, it could become like purifying also. Yeah. And uh, there is a saying, you know, that uh, teachers add things, masters remove things. Away. Yeah, right. Yeah. So the teacher will add a lot of information, but the master will remove what should not be there. And 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 sometimes we are. I mean, I feel like I'm swinging, you know. Sometimes I'm teaching. Sometimes I'm removing. But in some, I'm I'm trying to move towards removing. <laughs> right, yeah. It's a, you know, I, I feel that there's an inspiring that what can we remove from what is just there? So to, that the student finds it, aha, now I feel this is very easy, it's very simple. And that is because you have removed everything that doesn't need to be there. Yeah, extraneous. And this connects to, it's another way of expressing maybe the same thing as you're saying. And I think that we're all touching this, or, or I don't know about you, but, but I felt like in the seminar we were trying to remove things and trying to come to simplicity.
And I, I think we, we, we have those windows where we're, we're working on something specific that for us is just so simple and yet so wonderful because it's so big. It's simple, but it's not simplistic. It's simple in, it, in, its, in, its, in, its, in, in its approach because it's, universal. because it's universal, but it fundamentally leads to a capacity to explore a vast, a vast expression of, of different things within the art. And, and that's what gets so exciting as well. And in that way, I think Aikido, as, as, and not to say, not to take that title on, but to use your metaphor, from teachers, it's oftentimes very sophisticated, very complicated. Masters, it's much more simple. And, but masters, at that level of, of expression, I feel like the, the person leading the class is more facilitating rather than teaching. It's encouraging the person to kind of make a shift and, and making the shift in front of the students. And so in C, I, this, is how, this is how it works. And, and demonstrating that, and then encouraging people to make that shift on their own. And then when they, when they do, it suddenly becomes theirs. It suddenly becomes part of who they are. Mm. To, be, to be simple, yeah. or to know something new, is uh, mostly uh, very um, say, similar or same aspect uh, uh, of uh, all senses teaching. Not only technique, technique is Aikido. No, so all including key daily life, mm. and as a, everyone's uh, feeling, including, of course, nature, back to basic, or the mind, mm. <laughs> refreshing. It's well, similar to what Jan was saying about the, mm. the universal nature of it. Yes. If it's not universal, if it doesn't really yes. impact all of our life, somehow. Mm. If it doesn't impact all of our life, then it's like it's something like golf or something. It's just a thing that we do. It could be beautiful, but it's not. it doesn't have that universal, that universal nature to it, or that universal aspect, which I think Aikido does. I think Aikido is resting. Whatever Aikido is, it's resting on that. It, it seems to have a unifying, unifying principle about it. Something that, that, that doesn't always seem that way. <laughs> but when we, I mean, when we explore it, it's, it seems to have that capacity to be a unifying principle. That one equation that, that, that brings everything down into a relationship with life itself. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And again, that, that brings in the duality again, because some, you know, we're all human beings. You know, we're all, we all have our personalities, and as do our teachers, and, and quite often, you know. I mean, our teachers are, you know, I, I, as I know all of you, me too, we have the greatest respect and love for our teachers. Uh, but there, often there were times that their personality was like, well, okay, that's not universal. That's, that's somehow, there's a boundary there, there's a limitation there. And, and, and I was always okay with that because I was looking, even though I was following my teachers, I wasn't following everything about their life. I was following this universal, this universal expression that they were bringing through. And I also realized that that kind of helps me see my own human limitations you know and 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 not to get confused that when something universal does come through um something in me is allowing it to come through but i can't take ownership of that i can't say it's me there's just there's just no way to do it and it doesn't mean that everything i do then suddenly is is uh, is is fundamental expression of that unifying yeah principle. right and it really has this ability to create always ends with Jubasa and it's like creates this space for research for yourself and he has this question why? Mm. Why? <laughs> it's like a Zen Koan, you know. Sure. Mm. Why are we doing this? Why do I feel this? Why do I and of course maybe there is no answer but the question yeah. is pushing mm. you and I like that question. Why? You know? It creates a, that doorway into the unknown. Yes, it yeah. puts you in a in a space where mm. not it's not fixed. You know, it's an exploration, mm. and I, I'm I'm grateful for that space he creates with this mm. Juvasa and the question, and, you know, leaving you 
to your own experience. But Nido, Nido Sensei would, had commented that O Sensei was always saying, it's just so simple. It's just so simple. <laughs>